Well, hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to give you guys a real quick update on the Star Wars build. Not much to it, but then I'm going to show you something else that I've been working on. It doesn't seem to be working out very well. All right, well, I you might be able to see some stuff that's... See, I had this set up once before, uh, about a month or so ago, and then I had to hack some stuff off and redo it. Um, but anyways, what I'm where I'm at right now is I made motor mounts out of simple angle iron and i th i've shown you guys how i do that on other videos but uh what i need to do now is put them onto the motor bolt them on and then sit the motor down on there and then weld these in on the inside of these two bars but i have to put these on the motor and unfortunately i've only got two bolts that's all I have. I've looked around through my shop and I can't find any more bolts. I could have swore I bought a whole bunch of these, but I can't find them now. So I have to go into town probably tomorrow or this weekend sometime and get some more bolts at uh, Ace Hardware before I can uh, weld this all into place. Now here is the other project that I've been working on. You guys know what this is? Yeah. It's a spot welder. But... Uh, it's not working very well. Now there are videos on YouTube that show you how to do this. This is a microwave transformer. Uh, if you ever get one of these, you'll notice if you look at the wire windings, you'll have one coil that has thicker wires and another coil that has thinner wires. And the thinner wired coil will have a big capacitor connected to it maybe or whatever. Something kind of like this. But... What you do, well, this is what I did. I mean, there are, there are multiple ways to get, um, or well, anyway, let, let me explain this. The wires that have the, the thicker wires, those are your primary. Those are the ones that you connect up to your outlet. And then your, your secondary will be this winding, your wires that you, that you buy to create the secondary coil. But uh, you're gonna wanna get the thin wired section of the transformer out now some people will cut along the side here and separate these two pieces and then re-weld them all i did is i put a hacksaw on it cut down straight through it and then pounded out the edge now when i was pounding out the edge when i pounded out the coil um this did split so i had to put some tack welds on this on this area because down here it's welded on both sides but up here it wasn't welded so as I was pounding out the transformer, that section of the transformer, these areas split. So I had to tack the welds at the top here. You can see that. Then I grabbed my wires and I looped it through there. I started from this end first, put both of them through, looped one down back out this way and the other one looped back in out here. So I've got this one coming down and connecting to that raw that uh, connector right there and these pins this th these pins are just a roll of this kind of thick copper wire this is grounding wire but it's really thick stuff so um, last night I set this all up and I'll show you what this thing does. All right, now I just have a regular board here on a hinge and it comes down and makes contact like that. And um, So let me plug it in and I'll show you. All right, now I don't know if you can hear the transformer humming right now, but it is. Now, uh, this kind of sucks because it seems like every video that I've watched on YouTube, this all works really great, but you'll see it don't. Yeah, so what I have here, I have two pieces of 20 gauge 
sheet metal. This is 20 gauge. So we're making three points. Let's make a fourth one right here on the edge where we see it glowing before. See, I shouldn't have to hold it down so long. Now, like I said, this is 20 gauge, so this stuff is thin. But see, it's not even welding together. Now, these wires that I'm using right here, these are aluminum wires. But if I got copper, I don't really think it would make much of a difference. These are getting a little warm. But yeah, like I said, this is 20 gauge sheet metal and this should not have any problem welding this stuff together. See, it's not working. I don't understand what, I don't know. It's not supplying enough current, so I don't see how these guys on YouTube here can create these things with a simple one coil and these kind of wires, these nice thick wires, and create a, 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 a spot welder that works. See, so these are aluminum. See what I'm see what's going on there we're getting some type of current but the thing is it's just it doesn't have enough oomph in it to uh, yeah uh -huh. you can see that 120 volt 60 Hertz TAR220 ATT. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of weird. I don't understand why that's not why why it won't. I'm sure if I put thinner metal in there, yeah, it'll probably melt that okay, but that's not what I work with. I work with the thicker stuff. The the 20, maybe 22 gauge, but I don't like really going any thinner than 20 20 gauge. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it's the, the only di different thing that I've got set up here is that my larger cables are not copper cables. They're not copper long cables. They're the aluminum things. But I don't really see if that would really make a difference when it comes down to that thick of sheet metal. Now, I've got this one here, which is a little bit bigger transformer, and that's a 1100-watt transformer that came out of a 1100-watt microwave. But I don't want to start... Do the same thing with this one that I did with this one, unless I can get this one to be successful. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think is wrong with this thing down in the comments down below. I don't quite, I, I, I don't understand why it's not working as well as what everybody else's is 
doing. You know, they can melt nails and all sorts of crazy stuff. So, yeah, how come this ain't working? So I'd like to welcome all my new viewers and all my new subscribers. Hello, everybody. And if you haven't done so already, please jump over to Patreon and join up over there. Help these builds happen. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh,